Hello and welcome. My name is Katie, if you are new here, and I am the owner and creator of Huckleberry Bath Bombs. If you have found yourself here today, number one, thank you for joining. Number two, if you enjoy this video, please feel free to like it and subscribe. And number three, I hope you find something valuable out of this video. I know creating this channel has been a wonderful outlet for me um, of sharing information with people and also having an addition to my creative journey of being a bath bomb maker. In today's video, I personally, when I started making bath bombs, um, made a regular DIY bath bomb recipe. I hadn't done any research on ingredients, what the purpose behind the individual ingredients did. Um, and it wasn't until I got into my journey as a bath bomb maker that I realized that there is a way to basically level up your bath bomb recipe. But like I said, didn't know what I didn't know. So today I'm going to take you guys through a DIY at home bath bomb recipe that anyone in the mother can do with pretty much things you already have in your kitchen um, and then demo that bath bomb against a one of my bath bombs that I have made that you guys have seen me make in videos previous. So if you would like to see how a DIY bath bomb versus a professionally, professionally made bath bomb behaves, then please come along for the journey that will be that. All right, let's go. Okay, so to find a DIY bath bomb recipe, I ended up just going on Pinterest. Um, I had gone on before and looked at them, but I hadn't picked one yet. So I just typed in DIY bath bomb recipe, and lo and behold, there are obviously tons and tons on Pinterest that I'm sure all are wonderful and have their great qualities. Um, but I was just looking for one that kind of stood out at me, uh, and obviously one that had ingredients that I had on hand. So this easy bath bomb, uh, DIY bath bomb recipe on the side caught my eye. Um, and so I decided to click on it and give it a try. This is from Handmade Weekly, and I did have all of the ingredients which worked out perfectly. However, I did cut this recipe in half because I didn't need a lot of this kind of bath bomb for now. So starting out, I have all my dry ingredients, which is baking soda, Epsom salt, cornstarch, and citric acid. And the recipe said to go ahead and mix all your dry ingredients, and then um, you would add the wet ingredients later. And unfortunately, my video cut off, so there isn't any footage of me actively adding the wet ingredients. But I used um, coconut oil, water, essential oil, and um, some blue food dye, which was everything that the recipe called for on the website. Okay guys, I was not prepared for this level of a disaster. As someone who I feel like is okay at making bath bombs, this did not go well at all. Um, I added a little bit more water, which um, I know as a bath bomb maker that when your mixture is too dry, it's not just water you need to add, but water and coconut oil were the only two wet ingredients that this called for, so I just went with water. Um, I did get one to set up like kind of okay. Uh, pretty much everything else I pressed was a nightmare. I was really ashamed <laughs> of my inability to get this to work. Uh, pretty much everything cracked in half other than the one that I got the first round. Yeah, not great. To say this is going poorly is an understatement. I have managed to get one usable bath bomb. Everything else is crumbly and my mixture seems okay, but I don't know. This is what we got going on. 
So we got some pretty good crumbles here from when I just tried to press. I don't know. So one demoable bath bomb, I think. If I don't look at it wrong, it should be okay. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Moving on. All right, guys, this is what it turned out like. It's nice and hard, and it's not pretty. It's definitely not pretty, but we're going to give it a test here in a minute against another bath bomb of mine. things about the science experiment that was DIY versus um, professional. So numero uno, DIY bath bomb sunk. Probably not the biggest deal in the world, uh, but to someone who um, is a bath bomb maker, it matters. It really matters. It is a bummer when your bath bomb sinks because ultimately you want that experience where it sits on top of the water moves around a little bit. It's a whole thing. So the DIY bath bomb sunk. The mixture didn't want to cooperate. Um, so I ended up packing it really, really tightly into the mold. And because of that, I think that it just made it a little denser, uh, which is totally possible with a little bit more sophisticated recipe too. I think it was packed too densely. Therefore, it sunk. Womp, womp, womp. Number two, as you can see in the video, um, the DIY bath bomb just kind of sat in the middle of the bucket and didn't move. Um, again, not that big of a deal, but one of the ingredients that makes a bath bomb not only move around the bathtub, but also foam, which that bath, the DIY bath bomb did not foam, is uh, SLSA, um, so, or SCI. Those are the ingredients you'll find in a little bit more sophisticated bath bomb recipe that create that foamy, bubbly, fizzy experience. Whereas obviously the DIY bath bomb recipe did not have those, that, that ingredient. So that was my science experiment. It was really fun. Actually, my son was the one that was dropping them into the tub. He really enjoyed that. So a takeaway message. You can make these things at home. Why not? I used to do it too. It's perfectly fun. Great time for you and the kids. Um, it really is. Like, you know, I don't think any bath bomb maker will have their feelings hurt by someone making bath bombs at home. It just, it just be like that. Okay. A lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy goes into finding not only the right ingredients, 
but also the right balance, the right recipe, all of these things go into crafting um, something like a bath bomb or soap or scrubs or whatever the case may be. So yeah, that was my science experiment. It was a lot of fun. My son got to help me, which he enjoyed. Um, I did have to briefly give him crazy eyes to not like drop the bath bomb prematurely, but he did great. He was a great helper. One of the bath bomb we tested was one of these. It is actually one of the Valentine's Day bath bombs. Ooh, focus, focus. From my last video. So yeah, it was whole room smelled like rose for a bit. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I really appreciate the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.